Welcome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to boost the bass of the music or voice recordings that you're working with in Audacity. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Audacity open and you're going to make sure you have a music selection imported. So I'm going to go ahead and import some audio and then I've got a song here that will work well for boosting the bass. And so let's go ahead and just listen to this as it is. So you get an idea of what the bass sounds like uh, before we do anything to it. So there are a couple ways to do this, but the easiest way to get started is to go ahead and select the part that you would like to boost the bass. Um, so you can either have the selector tool here and select uh, the part here when it grays out, or you can select the entire track. To do that, you just click this gray area right here. That will select the entire track. You can also go to select all. So once I have that selected, then I can go up to effect, and then I'm going to click on bass and treble. And so this is the easiest way to change uh, kind of like the, the bass and treble part of this. So when you see this, it should be at zero and zero. And so whenever you change the bass, you're also going to want to probably increase the treble a little bit too, just so that the, you know, the equalization, uh, so everything's uh, more in balance with each other. So you can go ahead and change this to whatever number seems good to you for your setting and for your song or for your voice recording. And I'm gonna change, change that to five, and maybe I'll make this like two. Again, you can play with these numbers, and once you feel good with them, you can just press uh, apply. And then now, you'll uh, go ahead and X out of this. You can see that it changed the uh, file there. Let's go ahead and listen to how this sounds. So you notice we're starting to get a little bit of clipping here or distortion, and it depends on what you want your bass to sound like. Sometimes that can sound uh, really good, or uh, you can have more of a clean bass sound. Um, so depending on what you want, we'll kind of like go through those settings real quickly too. So we covered the first way to change the bass, and that was to go up to effect and then go up to bass and treble. The second way is to go to effect and then go to the uh, filter curve here. And so once you have filter curve, again, it should be uh, flattened whenever you see this. Uh, whenever it comes up the first time for you, it should be something like this. Okay, so you'll see this first. And then the best way to find the bass boost uh, filter curve is to go to manage. And then you're going to notice there is a factory preset here. And I'm going go to go to the bass boost. And you'll see that uh, boosted the lower frequencies. Um, so the bass sounds. And again, you can uh, do this manually if you like, if you want this more or less. But again, this is a great way to start. And this you're going to notice a, a larger difference with this intact here. So I'm going to press OK, and you'll see it uh, made the WAV file really large. Again, there's going to be a lot of distortion here, but you can kind of get an idea of what this sounds like just quickly. <laughs> OK, so that is uh, extremely distorted. So if you get to the point where it's becoming distorted, you can select everything again, go to Effect, and then go to Amplify. And then it's going to go uh, give you an amplification of a negative number. So if you do zero, that's going to um, just keep the amplification the same. It'll be the exact same thing. If you do a negative number, it will lower uh, the, how loud the music is. And then if you do a positive number, it's going to make it uh, louder. So again, so we want a negative number. We want to make this softer. And again, if you want to allow clipping, you can do this. But uh, th at this point, I don't want to allow clipping. I want it to give me a, a good number here. I'm going to press, you can press preview if you want. Um, but once you feel like you've got it, you can press OK. So now that was able to remove the uh, clipping we're getting. Let's go ahead and listen to this. So if you're listening with headphones, you probably notice it more, but the bass uh, is, is uh, a lot uh, deeper um, with the effects that we added. You can, again, use uh, either one of the effects. You can use both of them. Um, the best way to like manipulate the, the, the effect is to go to the filter curve, and then you can play with this if you want the treble to be a little higher, and you can keep adding points here so that you can make things uh, lower or, or higher, depending on what you would like to achieve with the music. So once you feel happy with the recording you have, you want to make sure you export it. So you go to File, and then you're going to go to Export, and then you can export it as an MP3 or a WAV. And then once you do that, it'll bring up where you would like to put it, and then just press Save. And then that will give you the audio file in a completed form with the boosted bass. So you now know how to boost the bass of the music or voice recordings that you're working with in Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.